Welcome to Crelio Health Inventory Management Software. Around 30% of variable cost in diagnostic business is related to inventory. Considering the importance of inventory management in diagnostic business, we have built the product keeping productivity, ease of use, better visibility, and insights at the center of product design. The first part that we are going to explore is stock management at store level. All the stock you purchase from vendors will be added to your main store. As you can see that, this is your current stock at store. This is the total stock that you have mentioned here. So you can see that HIV kit 0.5 kits available. So there are different kinds of products that are there with the, their total stock that is available in your store. Along with this, we provide lot expired alert. So you can see that all the lots of HIV kit have been expired. Also, we provide near expiry 7 days, near expiry 14 days, and near expiry 21 days tagging so that your team understands which are stocks that are going to expire so that they can take a decisive action. Along with that, you can see there's an alert quantity here. If the stock goes below this alert quantity, then it will be marked in red as you can see here. And as a stock has been below alert level quantity, and you should place order for these particular products. Now, in addition to this, what store manager has to do is that there are different places, departments, different locations. For example, so you are doing centralized procurement. Then there are different location labs. You have B2B partners. There are different sections that places order to the store and store manager has to transfer the stock to the respective places. So for example, say, as you can see that this is department orders. There are, for example, say pathology department. These are order placed from pathology department. You can transfer the orders, select the order detail, and then you can see that these are the lot that are available. You can put the transfer quantity and transfer the stock to the respective department. Similarly, if you are planning to do centralized procurement, you can manage centralized procurement in our software. This is, a, for example, this is a Mumbai location. And you can see that from Pune location, you have got 15 orders. You click on this and you'll get to know that all order details with the transfer status and the receive status. So for example, so you select order number 67, you select this. Here you can see that albumin, the order quantity is two, transfer quantity is two, and details of transfer. Similarly, if you have B2B partners or collection centers for which you manage the stock, they can raise the request in a similar manner, the orders to the main store, and main store can transfer the stock. So this is a stock management at the store level. Now, in addition to this, what we have provided is we have provided a dashboard for store manager so that their day to day activities becomes very easy. Here you can say that there are four sections. The one section you can see that the urgent actions, for example, say there are five products which are going to get expired in the next 21 days and 82,802 rupees worth of stock is at risk. Similarly, how much store, current stock is available at store in terms of value at department levels, how many orders needs to be processed from different, different locations, how much payments are pending. There are 51 POs for which around 5 lakh rupees worth of payment is pending how much wastage has happened, et cetera. So what dashboard does is it provides all the information to make your team a decisive team so that they can take actions with an information that is relevant to that action. Now, what we'll do is that we'll go to the consumption part as we have seen stock management, order management, and dashboard to make sure that the day-to-day -day activities for store managers are easy to make. We'll go to the consumption part. Now, as you have multiple SKUs, there's around 4,000, 4, 5,000 SKUs, consuming stock on day-to-day -day basis becomes a very tedious process. So that's why we have provided automated stock consumption feature. So there are two types of consumption uh, which can be automated. One is sample stock related consumption and taste processing related consumption. So what we have done in the system is that we have provided, there are different types of some sample types in the system and for example say there's a serum type what you can do is that we can you can map different inventories to this particular uh, uh, sample type and whenever this particular sample is received in the system then this stock with this quantity will get consumed from the respective departments similarly for stock test mapping we have provided for example say toxoplasma igg antibody this is a stock that has been mapped against this one particular test when this particular test gets done in the system and submitted successfully, the stock related to this test with this quantity will get deducted from the system automatically. In addition to that, we have provided QC mapping. So what you can do here is that you can club multiple inventories which are related to QC and create the group of inventories with a title. Whenever you run particular QC with that particular grouping, you just have to click on the run. So for example, this is a Siemens device QC. You click on this. 
these are inventory items mapped with these quantities you can map more inventories if you want to map more inventories and whenever you run the qc in the system you can click on the run and consume the stuff so the idea here is that there are two advantages of this one is that there are five ten qcs you run in the system and it it becomes tedious to consume 80 100 different types of stocks in the system manually it helps you to make sure that the consumption is very easily done with one click in addition to this when you want to do see the consumption pattern which will come to in some part you will be able to get the bifurcation of the stock consumption across different types of consumption of which one of them will be qc consumption now this is a consumption you can see that atomic stock consumption for qc and for test and for samples have provided now where do you see the consumption on in real time basis it's very important that you track consumption on day to day basis or maybe weekly basis in the system so this is an consumption analytics this is a real time consumption analytics you can see that in this lab for last 30 days around 20 22 lakh rupees worth of stock was consumed now you can see that department wise let's say i want to understand and pathology how much was consumption you can say 49625 rupees worth of stock was consumed in addition to this we provide a type of consumption so you can see in pathology department around 17411 rupees worth of stock was consumed manually around 0 rupees was consumed against the domain stock consumption audit adjustments were done a lot of times you can see that 32000 rupees worth of stock was adjusted in the system and qc consumed around 198 rupees of the stock and there was no disposable done in last 30 days again you want to know on this particular rate what happened inventory wise you can select one particular inventory and you can understand different type of consumption at inventory level also so what it does is that it provides a real time consumption analytics along with the type of consumption so that you can decide for example say here you can see that a lot of consumption happened through audit adjustments and you need to optimize that there is some problem in the system where every audit is consuming a lot of stock and which is not a correct way of you know managing the stock now this is in consumption analytics but how would you know that at the end inventory management is about capital allocation a lot of your capital is stuck in terms of inventory so how do you do that analysis so there's a stock analysis feature let's say for last 30 days you can see the green graph is a consumption uh, sorry it's an opening stock on day to day basis how it's changing the red color graph is a consumption and the blue color graph is purchase so what it tells you is that on day to day basis based on consumption and based on purchase how your opening stock is moving and what it tells you is that as relative to the opening stock how your consumption is happening you can check only consumption and purchase comparison and if you would like to say overall stock analysis you can see that also so for example say so let's take an again for the this week consumption you can see that on this one particular day the red color is consumption is pretty low but you have purchased a lot of stock which is mentioned in terms of blue color graph and that's why the opening stock has increased a lot which is in green color this tells you as compared to red color which is consumption how your opening stock is moving which tells you that how much efficiently capital has been allocated again this is a seven days data but over the year over the months if you compare the analysis then it will give you a real understanding of how things are moving in the system now we have an audit management system uh, as we explained that in consumption analytics you will be able to understand how much money was adjusted in audit the audit management is a very crucial process and it's done monthly or weekly basis in the diagnostic business labs now the problem biggest problem here is that how is the currently process done what you do is that you print 100 200 current stocks in excel format then you go to the current stock and you mention actual physical stock against those 200 rows then you come back to the software and make manual entries in the system so this is a very cumbersome process and there are a lot of mistakes that can happen and this is not an efficient way of managing it so what we have done is that we have provided audit management system where you can create different audits there will be option to produce, uh, schedule the audits in future but at this point you can create the audits you can name the audit and you can assign audit to the respective people what it does is that it provides you a monthly and weekly audit management very you can easily manage it now we don't stop on the web application itself we have a mobile application as you can see here now here you can see that this is under app you have a current store stock you can select pathology stock then there's a radiology stock how much stock is available you can manually consume the stock you can see lot wise how much stock is available then you can scan the product based on HSN code and catalog code and then consume the stock 
as you've seen that there's an audit, different types of audits. So every time you don't have to print Excel and then go and consider a physical stock in the system. For example, so you click on this one particular audit, you go on inventory details, you click on add inventory and you say that, okay, HIV kit, this is HIV kit. Currently you can see that there are two bottles available and you just have to add a physical stock here, save here. And once you have saved all the stock in the system, then you just have to run submit audit and the stock will get automatically consumed from the back end based on the difference between physical stock and actual stock. And we'll show you based on the consumption and based on the prices that you have purchased, how much adjustment was done. And if you remember, we just showed the same consumption analytics uh, under consumption analytics feature, where in pink color, you could see that audit management adjustments, right? Right here, we just saw that consumption analytics how much was consumption done and you can see that once you submit the audit and all audits in the last 30 days this audit adjustments will be shown in the system now as we have come to the app in addition to this we have a multi-layer approval system you can see that there are placing order approvals receive order approvals there are l1 l2 l3 different kinds of approval which easily can be managed from mobile app itself in addition to this, you'll get different kinds of alert notifications, the below alert level quantity notifications, near expiry notification, expiry management, etc. Now, last but not least is that how the stock is moving in your system. So, for example, say I would like to understand for Dengue Kit how the stock is moving in the system based for the last 10 orders. So, this is a weighted average that we have done. So, for example, say how do you read this? For let's take an example of Dengue Kit. This is a red color, it's a time between PO to GRN. So it takes around six days for stock, the time you have placed order for Dingo Kit and for GRN to be generated in the system. Around 2.17 days, the stock is stayed in your main store. And then this, when stock is transferred to the department, it takes around 4.36 days for stock to get consumed. So on average, based on the last 10 records that have been under analysis, you can see that it takes 12.609 days for Dingo Kit to get purchased till it gets consumed in the system. Now, what it does is that it tells you that how stock is moving and if the stock is staying a lot of time in your main store or a lot of time in your department, then there's a lot of improvement that you can do in terms of optimization. And this information provides you exactly where is the place that you need to work on for this one particular inventory to make sure that the stock is moving faster rate in the system. Now, we saw, saw current stock management, different order management from department, from B2B partners, from centralized token, from different locations, automated stock consumption, inventory consumption analytics, capital allocation, stock analysis, audit management, inventory time analysis uh, feature. And we saw mobile app where you can manage consume stock manually, scan the barcode and manage audits as well as approval systems. So this is an end-to-end -end inventory management systems which can solve all of your inventory management. And it doesn't just help you to record the system data, but also helps you to optimize the cost in terms of capital allocation, in terms of consumption, in terms of time and efficiency, etc. So this is an inventory software which can completely transform your inventory management. Either you are managing one lab or 10 labs or 100 labs with thousands of collection centers, you can seamlessly manage inventory with our web application as well as mobile app. Thank you for listening to us. We really appreciate this. Thank you.